Alright, so this is the W1024M test for the coolant CPU LN2 Rev2. Um, but the last test was 3D Micro 5, in which case the pot performed, in which I would consider to be admirably. Um, it performed as well as I could expect. Um, it's a little bit lighter of a pot than the Kingpin F1E that I'm used to, so it's got a little bit more of a swing, um, but it's got way more surface area, meaning it's way more responsive. So we're going to now do W Prime 1024M, and I'll start off at 32M to make sure it's stable. It should be a different load considerably. Yeah, wow, it's impressive. Um, okay. So instead of negative 80 Celsius, I'm going to shoot for like negative 85 Celsius for this test. Um, this is the pot base temperature and this is the IHS temperature and you can see there's a slight difference. Uh, this probe is reading a little bit too cold, um, but that's not a huge issue. We're just not really looking for accurate temperatures, more looking for just how big the swing is between or while the benchmark is completing. So I'm going to get it down to negative 85 and get the show on the road. That's good enough. That is impressive. Sorry, like the the last time I used it was the coolants, uh, the Rev One. It would have died. Um, several times over again. And this is this is incredible. This is a huge turnaround. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm just uh, I've got maybe an eighth of a cup of liquid nitrogen just sitting in the base to um, kind of counteract the load. And I'm just topping it off. Uh, and right now it's it's holding quite stable at uh, you know the negative 85 that I'm I'm shooting for on the pot base, uh, and we've got maybe a five degree delta between the pot base and IHS, which is fantastic. Um, this is running at 5300 megahertz, by the way, um, through W Prime 1024M with I think it's 1.63 volts. Um, if this passes, then we're gonna actually bump the clocks up and see you know how hard or how high we can take this. That's incredible. Congratulations, Coolants. Your second attempt is right on the spot. There we go, done. It's 144 seconds, so it's uh, like two minutes and 24 seconds. I did the math right. Not bad.